We're in Goldfield, Arizona today. I knew if we tried that we could find some trouble to get into. <laughs> it looks like we might have found some trouble to get into. <laughs> In the 1890s, the town of Goldfield had a meat market, blacksmith shop, general store, a boarding house, a school, and three saloons. In five years, the town grew to about 4,000 residents. But soon the quantity of the gold ore being mined, it caused people to move on because they couldn't make a living there. And Goldfield became a ghost town. Between 1910 and 1926, there were several attempts to revive Goldfield. In 1923, a fire just completely destroyed Main Street. And in 1924, there was another fire that destroyed the Goldfield News Building and the Montezuma Club. In 1966, a guy by the name of Robert Schuess a longtime ghost town mining and treasure hunting enthusiast, sounds like somebody else I know, made his first trip to the Superstition Mountains and fell in love with the area. Bobby heard rumors at the former site of Goldfield, but when he went to see it, there wasn't much of anything left except a few old foundations. Bob and his wife, they came up with this idea to rebuild Goldfield on a five-acre plot of land that used to be the location of the Goldfield Mill. So in 1984, they started reconstructing each building. In 1988, after four years, the town was finally open to visitors. We're back at camp now. We had a really fun time at Goldfield. If you guys are ever in that area, I highly suggest that you stop there. It was so fun. There's so much to do. And I'm sure, especially if you have kids, there's a lot of things. There's gold panning, there's different museums, tours, mine tours, all different kinds of things that you could do, train ride, I mean, it's just, we were there a lot longer than we ever even expected to be there. So I give it a thumbs up for a stop. We'll get back on the road tomorrow. We're on our way back home and out of here. So we will talk to you guys later. Bye.